it ain't going to be hard. It's just, I mean, you got to think about it. These babies have babies. Like, it's nowadays in society, and I ain't even trying to be funny. Like, my mama, she's 50. But I seen grand, people who, grand, like, grandma, like, 30-something. Like, I ain't even being no a-hole right now. Like, I know somebody oh, that's a grandma right now, and she's 30-something. You absolutely right. Look, look. I, it's this lady at where I was just telling my wife, uh, this girl at work, she she 30 years old. And she'll be 30 on the 11. And I'm I'll be 60 years old. And Rissy will be 30th on the 16th. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, man, how old your mama? You know, she said, cause she the same age as Rissy. So me thinking she was gonna say 50, 55. She say, she say my mama is uh she so she thought she said my mama is 46. And I'm like, damn, I'm old. You know, here I am, I got risky and stuff. She 30, you 30, and I'm I'm 60, and your mama uh uh 46. She said, Well, she had it. I think, well, she I can do the math. I know what she had when she was 16. Yeah. I say, wow! Well, I say, wow! Well, your grandma, and she was like, the grandma was, you know, uh, the the grandma was sixty something. I mean, and, and you know, God, and, and I don't know if she had kids, but if she had kids, I'm like, man, you looking at four generations right there, and, and the grandma was still, you know, that's all young, you I got know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. That's not okay. I gotta say something. And it might be controversial to some. So here's y'all trigger warning for that. Uh, what are y'all thoughts on situations like that? Because I remember when we were growing up, and granted, my family was a lot more traditional. And again, I'm not saying this from a judgmental space. I'm 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 saying it from a genuinely curious one. Now, when it came to things like that. You know what I'm saying? Our family didn't right. really right. condone that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't condone that. Like, I, we come from a family where it's just like, you should be having kids when your life together. Like, you know what I'm saying? You should be having kids when you got your ducks in a row, preferably in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? And with your ducks mm -hmm. in a row. Like, having kids when you, like, a teenager or whatever, it's just like, I mean, if it happens, it happens but we ain't out here celebrating it. You know what I mean? And to a certain extent, it almost seems like it, it's almost becoming a norm. And I'm not saying like, of course, like things happen, right? But <laughs> it got, it almost got to a point where like nobody's saying anything. It's almost like we celebrate it, but it's just, it's almost like you've made your life harder in a sense. You know what I'm saying? You've made your life harder, not only for yourself, but of your children, and now we have normalized it to an extent where it's just like, it literally is kids raising kids, raising kids. And it's just like, you having a kid and you ain't even figured out your own life yet. Well, I let my man go ahead. I got my thoughts on you, but you can go ahead. I know you got something to say. <laughs> People turning it off, and this is at the end of the episode. Man. Go. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like because I got to keep it PG. So basically, how I feel about it, and this is me being, uh, it's crazy because at the end of the day, like you bought a traditional, I was too. Like I ain't even, I ain't even think about no relationship none of it until after high school. So it was just like I went thinking about trying to do whatever I had. I had my mom was get my education. My mom went stuck on no females, none of that. But it's like you have to think it goes back to how people was raised and what they allowed in their house. So it's like you can't blame that child. You can only you can blame that child. You can blame the person who they lay with. But at the end of the day, if they parents say that it's OK, you need to blame that parent. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if they continually doing and, and it's and it's to the days that kids not even sneaking no more. They parents know that they doing the dudes and whatever the situation may be. As yeah. long as you wearing protection or whatever, 
Or, but and it's to the aspect that these kids are having kids and they ain't even taking care of their own kids. Their grandparents are taking care of the kids, or they had their little brother or a sister taking care of the kids. They can't even be kids. They still because oh my the brother taking care of a niece or a nephew or whatever the situation. So like these kids don't even have lives no more because they taking on the road. They being adults already. All right, it just goes with. Then the parents are just say for instance that child they'd be like oh I don't like kids but you end up having a kid why uh, it's okay to do this or whatever it's like the things that you saying that you don't like you get into that situation like you know if you having if you having intercourse there's such things as let your mama know like if if females like I feel like if you young and you want these things there's ways to work for you to prevent pregnancy or whatever the situation may be if you do. Yeah, if you're a female and your parent a lot of that stuff, go ahead, go get birth control. They got the pills, they got the shot, they got the little implants, whatever. There's that the three years, whatever. That's that's you safe with that. As a man, if you're trying to use it, there's protection. You can go up in there, buy any type of condom, any flavor, whatever the situation may be, whatever the circumstances you got for whatever situation you want. There's no reason for these accidents should be happening for you to allow somebody to do this. How can I say? I'm not gonna say raw but uncensored but there's ways to prevent it but because oh i want to do this you allowing them oh because i talked to you or they don't have no feelings or no or because i say something cute to you or whatever the situation may be now we do it nasty don't none of y'all know how to control y'all nut so boom yeah and it's and it's crazy because like i guess i was just raised different so it's like one of those things where like it's it's harder for me to understand so again like I ain't really asking from a place of judgment it's really just like I don't know where y'all come from and I'm trying to understand because like one as a woman you know what I'm saying I was right like it was just I was I, I'm supposed to value myself in a certain type of way you know what I'm saying and sex was just more than something that just feels good you know what I'm saying I've always known that you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a reason that you can make a child by having sex. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not something that's accidental. So granted, it wasn't one of those things where it was just like, oh, you just never have sex ever. It was one of those things like, now, if you gonna have sex, make sure it's with somebody that you care about, that cares yeah. about you. You know what I'm saying? And if you're doing it, make sure that you do have protection or whatever like that. And honestly, sex ain't that important. Like sex should never be something that's that important in your life. You know what I'm saying? For you to be putting yourselves in those kinds of situations. Like, yeah, like you can have sex with whoever you want to, but it's better if you just wait for somebody that truly values you in some type of way. And it's almost like, are kids still getting raised that way? Or is it just like, a look, if you out there doing what you're going to do, do what you're going to do. And it's just like, are we teaching ourselves that value that comes with that? Are you get, being taught to respect your body, make somebody else respect your body? Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't some know. people use it as a coping mechanism, though. That's true. I know somebody who That's true. And, There's plenty of people that sad. do it. I know somebody who uses it as a coping mechanism, and it gets on my nerves. And she be like, man, I'm finna go do this. I be like, bro, it's more ways to do things besides that at the end of the day the situation still gonna be there regardless mm. of the fact it's something psychological and that's something that people don't understand sometimes too it's very psychological because you almost doing it it's a lot of reasons why people could be doing it because one you could be doing it for one that dopamine right that effect that you get when you when you when you had that type of release but it's also very temporary you know what I'm saying? So some people are chasing that the same way like people use drugs. So they looking to get a high right. from sex, from drugs, from whatever that they not getting from their everyday life. And they don't really know how to cope with life. So they find these unhealthy outlets to get it to get it out. You know what I'm saying? And again, that does go back to how you raise because if your parents are literally doing the same thing, why would they tell you anything different? You know what I'm saying? And that's how these things in a way truly get like normalized. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not to a point where it's just like 
you know what I'm saying? And some people can literally be making themselves do it to feel better because it's just like, well, the only way I'm going to feel sexy is if somebody is like, you know what I'm saying? In that moment, that's, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's the why only way I feel you. love. That's the only way I feel attractive. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's so many things going on psychologically that gets people to have these reactions and these are the conversations that we are not having the conversation is easier to just be like well if you're gonna fuck use protection or if you're gonna do that then put some you know what i'm saying use birth control to put something on it some people not even having those conversations and they just go out and then they do whatever whatever and you know oh, what I'm so who y'all think raising kids? Y'all think the parents raising the kids? No, I mean, yeah, the parents are raising, raising themselves. The, the, the kids is raising, some kids raising themselves. Like you said, some kids are raising themselves. Or let's say another child is raising them. Or their grandparent who is young is raising the kid. But you got to think about it. Even if the grandparent is raising the kid, they going to have one in the 80s or somebody else going to raise the kid because you got to think if the grandparent go party, I think two, we get, they got to find think, another alternative babysitter. I think we give the parents too much credit because I, I think, and, and it's just my opinion, I think the TV, mm -hmm. the society, mm -hmm. the radio, I think mm -hmm. those things those things are raising people kids because <laughs> those things what that's they they make the trends that these kids want to be like or want to have yeah it's like you know and and they and they put that picture in their mind of what it looked like what you should look like how you should wear your hair how you do your prom how you get your wedding Everything that's raising that, that, that that's the raising the media platform is raising your kids and yep. it's raising your and it's even raising the parents. That's because true. It, it used to be a time to where parents knew like that, that they knew what they needed to do to raise their kids. But I'm gonna go back and, and take it to this the whole point of what you were saying. Back in the 1920s and 30s, everybody always had kids through slavery and everything. They had, they was promiscuous. They had kids. They had adultery. They had kids. They had rape from their slave owners. They had kids. But it was a, it was a thing about it though. Like if, if they were having kids, it was a shameful thing, you know? Like if a woman went out there and a man, they had a kid, they had a baby, and they went and got somebody pregnant at 14, 15, the grandma would keep the baby and they would send the woman on. They say, well, you grown now. You done pop your cherry, you done fucked up school, go on to the big city somewhere, get a job. And they used to leave that kid with grandma and grandma continued to raise that kid raised him because he wanted to get that kid value. So hopefully the kid didn't make the same mistake the mama made because the mama was hot. She had to get out there and do her stuff. Them facts. I got aunties that did that right now. I won't say no names. Yeah, we you know, uh, yeah. then you then you had like because in our family, you know, I you know I people had kids out of wedlock. Like, and they would go and they had they, they made mistakes. People understood they made mistakes and they would just raise their kids the it's right way. Responsibility. It's taking exactly. responsibility and, and ownership because the thing that I don't think people are, are, are understanding is the responsibility that comes right. with what it is that they doing. You know what I'm saying? They want to make those kids everybody else's problem. You but know you wasn't saying? celebrating it. Exactly. You, see, you wasn't celebrating it in church. You wasn't having uh, big baby showers. Now you wasn't doing. Now, now these these kids have a baby, having a baby, and the mama, the grandmama, everybody they celebrating that. Mm -hmm. So if you celebrate, if you celebrate that on the first one, hell, you might as well. You gonna celebrate it on the second one, celebrate it on the third one. And then it's, you just keep on telling the kid to just keep okay. on having babies. Yeah. But Under your circumstances mother. that you in. 
that you at the, at the church. They don't even they don't even preach about adultery and having babies and stuff like that because they want they want to keep that money rolling in. So they ain't gonna say nothing. So nobody says nothing. Nobody teaches you nothing. And if your parents ain't teaching you that you that that you out here tripping or you out here laying up and you made a mistake, and I'm gonna forgive you and I love you, but that damn it, stop doing it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Somebody yeah. gotta do that. You know, somebody gotta bring it just like that. And no nobody yeah. wanna bring it like that. And everybody it, wanna hold you that everybody not everybody sensitive. If and you, if it, it, a hundred percent. I need to I, I this is me. They need discipline. A hundred percent. Yeah. Right. They need some ass whoopings and all of right. that shit. They but the parents ain't got game. discipline. The parents but, ain't got right. discipline. They ain't grew all the way up yet. They ain't even fully mature yet. But that's the sad part. And it's like, it's bad for these kids because at the end of the day, they're going to end up in foster care because you got to think about it. It's kids that be doing stupid stuff. So say, for instance, they stand in a project. Say, for instance, me and you friends, and I'm young. Just say, for instance, we like 10 or 12. And I go get my daddy gun, and I come to you with the strap. Right, hey, daddy ain't strap, got a gun right? safe. You feel me? Let's start playing. You feel me? Let's daddy start playing with the money. And then look, yeah, yo, yo, you go tell your mama we get taken away, but nigga had the gun too. You get taken away too. It's like, look, we getting taken, we getting the kids taken away because of curly shit. That I mean, excuse my French, but curly stuff that's going on with the adults or the ass supposed to be. They parents, or it don't even have to be the parent. It could be my mama boyfriend or my mama friend left this over here in curlish acts. F facts, facts. I know people right now, I would never say names, but I know people right now that'll have kids running around their house and guns is out. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the stuff that I'm talking, and that's the stuff that I'm talking about. It's just like, if you got a kid or if you did something, cool. We ain't gonna beat you over the head, but you gotta grow the fuck up now. You don't get to be that little kid no more. Exactly. You exactly. need to grow the fuck up. We it ain't about you no more. It ain't about, about that you child. No more. And everybody, everybody is just like, well, I gotta live my life. Well, I gotta live my life. Well, guess what? You also have to own up to the shit that you did in your life, just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to fully take responsibility for what it is that you're doing. You having kids, you can't afford them. You got to You having kids, you can't put a roof over their heads. You ain't got no way to raise them. You got two, three, four jobs. You know what I'm saying? You ain't thinking about how to improve your life. You know what I'm saying? And that was the difference. Like my daddy said, it's just like in the old days, it's just like, well, you went to go have a kid, do what you got to do. And people ain't saying do what you got to do. We said, we said, ah, okay, let's have this gender reveal. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, nah, your kids running around dumb as shit. I'm sorry. Your kids dumb as hell. You ain't even got time. You got two, three jobs. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 who knows what your baby daddy doing? If he there, if he not there, if he grew all the way up, you know what I'm saying? If he just there for, for, for the presence alone, like it, 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 it requires way more to be a mother and a father than to be physically breathing and present. A hundred. And at the end of the day, a reason why a lot of the reason why a lot of the crime, a reason why a lot of the niggas is in the street, and the reason why a lot of these girls are Say fast asses Say is because it ain't no they don't have both parents. It's not even a simple fact of both parents. It's just that the parents allowing this or you it's just like there is only one party. So a parent a parent could I a female can only raise like as me as a man, I feel like both parties need to be there present, especially if a female has a boy. A man needs to be there to tell that boy right from wrong, as opposed to a female has to raise the daughter to tell her right from wrong. But yeah. they both have to be in their right mindset, though. Absolutely. I couldn't get away with shit in my childhood. I couldn't, I couldn't get away. Me and my brother could not get away with a goddamn thing. Why? Because you got out of school at 2.30 and dad was going to be there at 3.00. We couldn't get away with shit. Homework was getting done. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If I went over my friend's house, they knew exactly where I was, how long I was going to be there. When the sun went down, I knew where I was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? We knew what time it was. Like, we was really out here getting raised. And it's kids out here that really ain't getting raised. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you that single parent with three kids, and this is no shade. We know it's hard. Like, it's not a bad thing. We just literally trying to you know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's be honest about what comes with what it is that's on your plate. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you got the oldest baby watching the two kids while you making your moves. I was about to make a comment, but I can't even say it because then it would implant more kids because niggas would get bored quick. But I was about to say, take away Wi-Fi and bring back 3G dial-up, stuff that we grew up with to appreciate the outdoors, to appreciate the stuff that we had. We didn't have the media. We didn't have all of that. Give back them retro games or whatever. But at the end of the day, the way the society is now, nah, it's going to be too many babies being made and stuff like that. So, nah, nah. don't even do that. Nah, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's you true. Think that, I think, you think I, that I think, it would I take think, it? No, I think it's parents that do just fine with all of this technology. I think it's parents that do just fine, but they have to be mature enough to be parents. But you got to think of the parents that's being parents that can't even take care of their own kids that's out here looking up videos just to take care of a child. How did looking up the littlest things to do to take care of a child? At least you trying. I, I'll give you it trying, that. I give you, you that. Are you trying? But it's like, it's making it harder for you. I mean, yeah, but see, the thing is, my, my thing is, I ain't going to knock the person that's trying. I'm not going to knock the person that's trying to do better. My thing is for the person that don't give a fuck. That's who I'm talking to. If you got two, three jobs, you're doing the best that you can. You relying on your village. You understand that you made the decisions that you made and you're trying to fix them now. Ain't nobody trying to beat you up for that. We talking about the people who are literally... You know what I'm saying? You ain't making sure your kid homework getting done. You don't know what the fuck they got going on in that iPhone. Your only thing is to make sure that they got J's on and an iPhone and these chains on. You don't give a fuck if they can read, if they can write, if they, you know what I'm saying? If if, if they emotionally, yeah. stable, none of that. that. That's who I'm talking to. The people that got kids and ain't invested in raising them. They think that the only thing, like like I said in my last episode with with Donald, they think the thing to have kids is to put them in nice clothes and take pictures with them on holidays. Nah, buddy, that's not being a parent. It's way mm -hmm. more than being a parent than that. 